Why don't they get going? What are they waiting for? What if Zubir's... Come on, tell me what's happened. My boy, our deal was. For when I get back, that I get my coins. Here. Go ahead and talk. <laughs> Spit it out now. No one was there. Only the old man is here. He's looking after their belongings and horses. Are you absolutely sure about that? If you're in doubt, you can go see it for yourself. And do you know where they went? The old man was saying that they've gone to the city to visit a sick friend. They've run away. God damn you, Zabir! You helped them escape secretly. But I know a way to get even with you. <laughs> These new visitors from Basra are really full of blessings, don't you think? <laughs> Anything new? No, not yet. What has Zorare done to be living in hiding all of this time, huh? We are not doing much better than he is. This <laughs> has become the fate of every one of our leader's followers. Every one. The family of Zorare has always been a thorn in the side of enemies and loved by the Prophet's progeny, so much so that one day my leader praised Abu Zarais and the brother of Zarari and said no one like Abu Zarais has been born yet. Then he prayed for him and he said, God, Abu Zaray considers the Prophet's progeny the best of man. Therefore, on Judgment Day, consider him a member of the family. What on earth is it that he has done all of this time? For Jafar ibn Muhammad, to trust and like him. This family is so in love with their leader that Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, that dangerous villain, had said many times that as long as the Ayan family is alive, Iraq will not see peace. They are very fast and brave, but Hajjaj didn't fear their swords. He feared their knowledge and the influence of their words. The peace that Hajjaj was looking for could only be found when families like the Ayan are gone for good. Excuse me, brothers. Forgive me. You're late, my man. I had to make absolutely sure that no one was following us. We can go now. Please, Let's it's go. not too far away. Let's go. Please. please. Zobir, put out the fire, please. My leader, Abi Abdullah Yafar bin Muhammad, has said that no halal becomes haram with time. Neither does halal lose its value with time. I've also heard my master say that his ancestor, the commander of the faithful, 
Ali ibn Abi Taleb, has said heresy comes to be when one turns away from true traditions. These wrong beliefs have in time found their way into the religion and have become a part of the laws of the religion. Each of them has caused a right path to be put aside. What has caused this is either ignorance or unawareness or the hate and, and vengeance of a special group. It is important, therefore, that we counter these wrong beliefs. <laughs> Very well. That's enough for tonight. Our guests have arrived. Please. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, Enver. Welcome, brother. Welcome, Enver. It's great to have you. Jebba. Hello, Hello brother. brother. Welcome, my dear. Welcome, Jebba. Welcome, Enver. Please, it's great to have you. Please, please, please. I have heard what you have been through, Kevin. I don't understand. They are wandering these groves. Their lives in danger. What for? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Please, please, Enva, brother, welcome. I have the best vegetables. How much is the fabric? Hello, Mormon. Hello? What are you doing here? Don't worry. I got rid of the guard at the bazaar and came here instead of him to see you. I had to see you. Tell me, has something happened? The spies have informed the governor of Envan and Jaber's entrance to the city and their comings and goings. I'm afraid the soldiers will go to the caravansary and arrest all of them. Do they know about the contacts with Zerare? I don't think so. But it's best they change their hideout. It's strange. It doesn't burn. Jabez's knowledge is not hidden to anyone. We are always expecting him to discover something new about the secrets of the universe. Bravo, Jabez. God bless you. Too bad this is only paper and of no use to me. <laughs> Please. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Delivering the hadith to you was my religious obligation. I thank God I was able to do so. But I can't hide it from you. I truly need your consultation and guidance. I'm like a thirsty man who's come a long way in search of water to quench his thirst. May God always bless you, brother. Sometimes I think to myself, what use does this hiding and going from one place to another have? Why am I dragging this meager body from one place to another? 
I should stay and shout out my loyalty to my master, and like Imam Hussein, shout out that being killed is better than a life of misery, and misery is better than the fires of hell. I'm not afraid of being killed. Isn't being martyred in the path of God the sweetest way to die? But we have to know our duties well and perform all of them. If all these difficulties are to show the true path, then they are as valuable as martyrdom. You know well that the Prophet of God has said the ink of his scholars is more valuable than the blood of all martyrs. Yes. Our leader has told me to stay and write down the hadiths left from him and his great ancestors, so the future generations can benefit from them. What our master has said is the right path. If he tells me to die, I will. If he tells me to live, then I will live. Right now, he said that I live like this and serve him. I've accepted heart and soul. السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر God bless you, brothers. I have good news. Good news from my leader? Very good news. How did you know? I had a dream about it. from my leader. Yes. Thank you so much, Mumi.
Tell me, what is it, Zarari? What was written in that letter? God have mercy on us, what is it? I do not know what I have done to anger my leader. Have I said something wrong, done wrong? God knows. I accept what is God's will. Speak. Tell us what it is. What was written in the letter? What have I done, Jabba? Zorare. Speak so that we can know. So that we can know what has happened. Jabba. Traitor. What did you say? The Imam has called Zorare a traitor. What are you saying, Jabba? The Imam has called Zorare a traitor to him and, and to his followers and told him to stop what he's doing. It's strange. How could Zorare be a traitor? Tell me what has happened. I don't know what the Imam is thinking. But the more that I think, I don't recall Zorare saying anything or doing anything that was against any of his wishes. I'm sure our leader, you know, knows something that we don't. I don't believe it. Is something wrong? No. <laughs> like what? Then why are you standing here? Well, where should I stand? I don't know why you're suspicious of me no matter what I do. Right, Momen. Either way, we have to be careful. I think Zarar is in some sort of danger, and I think it's something very near. If what you're saying is right, then we have to think of something. Yes. We have to leave this place without wasting time. It'll be best if we both go to Medina. It's not safe here anymore. The sooner you leave Kufa, the better. Very well, Momen. We will go to Medina. First, we have to go to the caravansary and get our belongings. I'm afraid that place may be under watch. And that might mean you both being arrested. But Shockey is there. We have to help him. Leave that to me. Leave the city through a safe passageway and wait for me. I will come with Shockey and the horses. What if you encounter soldiers? I might not know much about wisdom and beliefs, but I know how to take care of the soldiers. God be with you. Don't waste time. If you are in danger, lead the horses and come with Shoki. Mm.
Jebba, wait. Envan, tell me, how well do you know Zabir? Has he done something wrong? I feel the only danger near us is him. How well do you know him? I don't think he would betray us. We have tested him a few times until now. He's right. If he wanted to, he could have got us into trouble before this. God willing, what you say is right. Are you ready, Zara? I'm sorry, my men. I've been so much trouble for you. No problem, my brother. We have to go. We have to go? Where? To Medina. Where are the rest? We will join them on the way. Don't waste time. Hurry, okay? What are you waiting for? I will prepare the horses and you gather the stuff. How should I know you're telling the truth? Maybe you got rid of them, and now you want to pillage their belongings. Why would I do such a thing? You mean you don't know? No, I don't. Because that is what you do. You're a bandit! Listen, Zobir. My master trusted me with his horses and belongings. I won't move an inch unless he gets here and tells me we can go. I could not care less, okay? I will take the horses myself. Stay here until the soldiers come. I will not let you do such a thing as long as I'm alive. Don't be stupid, Shoki. The soldiers are coming. You mean it? Hurry up! Hurry up! Just the entire place! Hurry! Where are they? No one's here! I saw them myself. He was standing right here, saying his prayers with his friends. There are only palm trees here. Are you sure the reward for capturing Zorari hasn't driven you insane? What are you saying? It's essential I get them today. How will he do that? His friend's belongings are in the caravanserai. I'm sure that they'll go there. We'd better get there as soon as we can. Come with me. Commander, go to the court and I'll go to the caravanserai with your soldiers. Get away, Zabir, huh? What are you doing here? 
Didn't we say the government soldiers shouldn't be involved? You are the one who ignored our deal and struck a deal with them. It's my fault. I used a thousand tricks to stop the commander of Kufa from coming here. And if he'd come here himself, and if he'd seen you helping them get away and making fools of us, do you know what he'd have done then? It's still not too late. I can still hand you over to the soldiers in the blink of an eye, you know. We went for Zarari, but he wasn't there. And now this. Are you aware of the punishment for helping the leaders of the Shears? Huh. You are so stupid, looking for Zarare, a man who's betrayed his Imam. I don't know what you mean. Did you not say that Zarare is worth the entire treasury? What's happened? You're just making excuses of it. What excuse? It's obvious. Read the letter from Jafari bin Muhammad. He's called Zarare a traitor to him. Read it. And where did you get this letter from? Stealing a letter is nothing, absolutely nothing for a bandit. Zerari, a traitor to the Prophet's progeny. But he's a well-known, respectable Shia. How could he be a traitor? It has the seal of Jafar ibn Muhammad on it. This is quite unbelievable. I couldn't believe it either. You need to show this letter to the governor and tell him not to waste his time looking for Zarare. So with that, all our efforts have turned out in vain. <laughs> Jabir. And what about Jabir? He's escaped too. You leave Jabir alone, okay? You hear me? You've forgotten? The governor of Basra is waiting. Our deal was for me to find Zarare. Finding him now is worth nothing and not very hard. We are done with each other. Do you hear me loud and clear? Have you gone quite mad, Zabir? Tell me, what about being Envan's son-in-law? During this time I've been with these people, I've realized being Envan's son-in-law is something. Zobair is not worthy of. I'm going to Basra. You can do whatever the hell you want. Zobair, don't rush off. I have an even better idea. What's that? Safest place possible for now. Stay here until we think of an alternative. Very well. I don't know whether Zubir has been able to save Shoki and our belongings without encountering the soldiers yet. He knows how to do it. He is an intelligent young man. From the same night I saw him again in Kufa, I saw honesty in his face. I have to go to the city. I'll see Mafalsal too. Go, my men. God be with I'll you. I'll see you soon, brothers. Rest here. I'll be back soon. Very soon. Very well. But, Momen, what about Zobair? Don't worry. I will see them on the way and give them directions to here. Go down there, Momen. Hurry up. Thank you. Do take care of yourself. Sure. Please.
Look, Zivir, this is the best way possible. Supposing that all you say is true, then these people are bound to gather in Medina. Now, if we were able to hand them all over to the Caliph at once, there's no doubt we'll be greatly rewarded. And to hell with that damned governor of Basra. The governor of Basra can wait until he drops down dead. But doing it this way will cut off his hand from a very great reward and will also be great revenge for you. What about my father and brothers? I promise you, in return for what you will do, the minimum the Caliph can do will be to order their release from the governor's dungeons. You don't have time to waste, Sabir. If you are with me, there is no need for you to take Jabba captive yourself. I promise you that Envan will have no grounds for suspecting that you betrayed them. And doing that will strike a great blow to that fat governor in Basra. You must go to Medina with them. And then, at the right time, you will tell me about their hideout. And there will be no need for you to do anything else. Trust me, I know how to deal with the rest, and no one will suspect you of anything. But hurry up, make your decision. What do you say? Very well. Deal. Just promise me not to do something to have them suspect me in any way at all. Deal, then. I'll see you at the Medina Caravanserai, in due course. Soldiers, come with me. Hurry up! There are so many unknowns in this world. Our knowledge is too little to understand them. This is while God Almighty, the creator of the universe, is aware of all of these secrets. Very well. Leave the rest of the questions for later. Send out for Sullivan. <laughs> More power to you, Sheikh. God bless you. Greetings, Mufazil. Greetings to you, brother. More power? God bless you. Anything new? Not much time left till Hajj season. I have to see our leader before that. Yes. Especially these days, now that Kufa has become more dangerous. I talked to Abu Hamzi, Somali, and Muhammad ibn Muslim and Ali ibn Yakdin. We're supposed to go to Medina soon. I know. I know. Mufazal has to stay in Kufa. So the city has a representative of the Imam here. <laughs> the people know you best. They can easily come and speak to you. And the elements of the Caliph are therefore less of a nuisance to you. It has been three years now that I haven't been able to see our leader because of the same reason. If it weren't for another opportunity to see him, I would be dead by now. Long, long dead by now. For now, I see this is the only right thing to do. That is why I wanted to see you. There is a letter here from our leader. You have to give it to Zorare. That's strange. Two letters, both for Zorari? Yes. It might be strange for you and me, but there must be a reason for it. Give my regards to Zorare. <laughs>